What's going on guys? Welcome back to another modern video here. This is a uh, commissioned critique by Jake P who is a patron and a Twitch subscriber. And if you guys are interested in having your own decks taken a look at by me, uh, you guys can see a bunch of examples of that on my YouTube channel. Uh, the, int the information is on my Twitch profile below and there's a link in the description so you can check that out. Uh, this deck is basically just, you want you have Sahili combo here with these Felidar Guardians and this Kiki Jiki. And then you also have Nahiri and Emrakul, and you also got this too. And then, you know, for the lulls, you have four Blood Moons. We also have four Birds, four Noble Hierarchs. So we're basically just trying to uh, to do things as fast as... Jojo and Katie, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. You are great. And I'm pretty sure... I don't know how this deck's going to fare. One thing Jake did mention was he didn't like having Path Dexile because it does help them get their basic lands especially underneath the threat of Blood Moon. But, um... We're gonna see how if that has any effect. Alright, let's go into the modern Cusels. Hunter, what do you got over there? I will play first. Oh, I like it. I like this hand a lot, actually. We are one combo piece away from crushing. What do you, Toby is probably good at Blood Moons? Um, no, only because if you put it on a non-basic forest, like a breeding pool, it would actually fall off because it's no longer a forest. So you literally have to put it on your one forest that you'd have in the deck. So right now, I'm going to get a forest and play a bird. Bird -er -er -er. Right, and, and the thing is, like, we only have, like, one basic forest in the deck. And you really only need one basic forest in the deck. As you guys have known, uh, as you guys might know if you've uh, been a proponent of my content for any, any number of time, any amount of time, uh, I'm a big fan of having the specific lands that can cast your spells in your deck. So if you have, like, a double green card in your deck, play two forests just in case because of Blood Moon. If you have Cryptic Command in your deck, you probably want to have three islands. I know it's sometimes not ideal, but um, I want both of these, but I want neither of these because they really don't help our cause. We got the forest because we were trying to play around the uh, the Blood Moon, because obviously if we get any other land, like a stomping ground or something so that we can cast the Blood Moon with it, um, then we just end up with two forests. And in a situation where they kill our Bird of Paradise... Uh, which is the only card granting us the ability to play our Blood Moon. We don't actually want to have Blood Moon because then we've already... We, it's mere... Oh, Jesus. It's mere existence says that uh, we are unable to... Um. See, the problem is we have to get a, a red land here. And any red land is not going to be a basic. So we have green and... Yeah, we're just going to pass here and keep up remand. It took the midnight train going in. Yeah, that's fine. Do, 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 do. All right, I guess we're not going to. So we can't get a plains here, which is unfortunate. We can get an island, but that's not super exciting. I think we do want a red. I guess we want stomp. No, we don't want stomping ground. God, we want red and we want white. I guess we'll just get the red. No, oh, not convenient. The problem is it shuts us off blue now. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? We could have got an island here, but again, if we got an island, we would have no way to play the Blood Moon, so the island is less relevant. <laughs> Don't tell me what to do. I'll hum what I'll hum your face. You, you son of a biscuit. All right, we're just gonna pass here. 
Actually, maybe we're not going to pass here. Well, we're going to pass here. I don't, I don't want to shut off my blue sources just yet. I'll get rid of this. All right, so... Oh, they have two marsh flats, too. That's not great. All right, well, we're going to get a plains here. I'm just not, never going to play anything. Oh, if we got an island, we could have gotten the planes now. It's my planes, and I want it now. All right, well. Man, if only I kept one of those Sahelis. Just one of them is all I needed. Frank, every day on this stream. Oh, my God, no. This is nice. Why would you want me to stop humming that? That sounds wonderful. Oh, look at this. Oh, they're getting non-basics? Oh, the awesome Delp. Thank you so much for the resub. What's up, buddy? All right, now we're just playing Blood Moon next turn and shutting them off all their colors. No blue mana be damned. Oh, so long, graveyard. This is where they go, Bane Slayer Angel, I guess. I don't know. Took the midnight train going. You played it way too long. <laughs> I played it for like six seconds. Oh, man. I mean, I can still upload it on YouTube. They don't have a they don't have a policy against uploading it on YouTube. Oh, they followed it up with a stupid Arid Mesa. This is too many. Are they never going to play a spell? What is going on here? This is too many Felidar Guardians. I think that is the nicest thing Elktears has posted in this chat. Look at this Felidar Guardian just hanging out. Also, Kiki Jiki seems nearly impossible to cast in this deck, unless it's post Blood Moon. Oh, look at all their basics now. I'm so uncomfortable. Oh, if they if they play some, oh, we're gonna just remand it and then and then Blood Moon. That's my that's my theory. What? This could go well if we have a, if we just top deck a Sahili, we just win, right? I guess they don't replay it this turn. Oh, that's a good one too. Let's do that. Took the midnight train going. Alex, what's going on, buddy? Hope you're enjoying. So many Alexes in the chat. Alex for days. I guess they can still engineer explosives for three, though, right? Because they have planes, forest, planes, swamp, mountain, 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 mountain. That's actually fine, I suppose. That's a cool mountain. But now they only have mono mountains forever. Mountains forever. Yep. They're basically just going to die to our Felidar Guardian, though, so that's okay. 
Are they gonna kill an old hierarch? Oh, they're just gonna. Oh, they're just gonna blow it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. One, two, three, four. This fine friend. I'll discard a second guardian. Oh, that was a good draw. I'm a fan. Took the midnight. Why do I have why do I have this song stuck in my head? Path? I like it. Now we get that island after all. That's totally fine. We're we're in on the Nahiri plan now, so. Pop it back in your hand. I hope they go land Nahiri, and then I hope we get to go Sahili Felidar Guardian. Dancing Queen. Uh -huh, dancing Queen. Yep, that is fine. I'm of your life. Uh, let's do this, Jobby. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Oh, we did it. One, two, three, four. Filling our guardian. So we have blue, red. Let's blink an island just to be safe. Yes. One, two, three. Sahili Rai. The time of your life. I know the words. I'll copy this guy. Let's see if they make us go through this. Let's see if our time is more valuable. I mean, I accept it because I would probably make them go through it, maybe. But sometimes your time is just worth more. Have you tried Dragon Scred? No, I haven't tried Dragon Scred. You're the second person who's mentioned that this this chat, actually. That's kind of funny. Have you tried Dragon Scred yet? No, not yet. I heard the sweet track Dragon Scred. Have you checked it out yet? Not yet. Not yet. Have you have you played our Lord and Savior Dragon Scred? I have not. I have not. I'll admit. I'm gonna take out these paths because I didn't see any creatures worthy of pathing. I will bring in Nagates. Stony Silence seems meh. Soul seems meh. Dispel and Path seem kind of meh because I just took the paths out. And we'll just smell like this. Keep this hand. Invisible Mountain Dew. This is a Mamma Mia, here we go again, Dragon Scred stream. That's <laughs> that's exactly what it is, actually. Nailed it. Wow, that was really loud. One Scred Buck. Why was that so loud? We're going to go down to 20 here on the volume. 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 That's from the Italian, in case you guys didn't know. You didn't. Don't lie. Don't pretend like you knew when you didn't know. Aussie Stream, do you want to go see Mamma Mia? Here we go again with me this weekend. I would love to go see it with you this weekend. How can we make that happen? The time of your life. I think we just get an island here. Because it lets us cast oh so many things. 
And I'm just going to Sahili right on out there. Amtrak. Amtrak? Uh, I'm going to... Maybe I do want you, actually. You're pretty okay. I assume I would have to go to New York to see it, right? That's what we're saying? Okay, so you have no... Huh. I want to bottom both of these. I'm going to play this. I'm going to get a planes. And now we're going to play Blood Moonums. And I think we're in good shape here. Oh, that's too bad. Do you like the Dragon Scred meme? I don't even know if that's a meme yet. It literally just happened. Also, it hasn't really developed itself as a meme. It's really just... I want to play this because it comes into play untapped, which is just phen just phenomenal. That's just fantastic. I'm going to get rid of this Scalding Tarn. Because who even needs that? You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? <sighs> Playing the other Noble Hierarch does expose us to Engineered Explosives. So I don't really think we're... I don't think we're all about that. I don't think we're going to win by dealing one point of Exalted Damage. Well, that's pretty okay. I guess we just get rid of the other Nahiri here. And then we can keep up Negate for whatever they want to do. And then next turn we can just Emrakul them. Yeah, that's pretty good. Now I will attack you for one. Because every point's going to matter now that we're going to Emrakul you. I heard while mom was in the kitchen with onions, daddy was not leaving to get marijuana cigarettes. But in fact, he was just playing Dragon Scred in the den. Wow. How come no one checked on that? Um, sure. You know what? Sure. The time of my life. Ba boom, 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 ba boom, ba boom, ba boom, boom. Can we give it one more turn just to keep the Nahiri around, I wonder? That's the question we ask ourselves. Emrakul. Are you going to give me the Exalted trigger? Because that would be pretty sweet. You better pop it now. Save yourself that point. Emrakul. Yum. Should have played the Serum Visions first. So here's something pretty sick. Um, we're going to actually felt our Guardian this Emrakul so that it just stays in play. <laughs> I think that's how that works. I can't... Uh, I don't foresee a reason that wouldn't work like that. But... Um, Okay, that'll do, I guess. I guess keeping the Emrakul in play for the rest of the game is really where you want to be. Hmm. I had a good time. Alright, so... We didn't actually see anything that we really needed to change. The deck actually did everything it wanted. We Everything we wanted to do happened that game. And the gates were good. Feel Felidar Guardian blink Emrakul. I was gonna go back to your hand. No, never. I'll never let that happen. Don't let go, Jack. I'll never let go. Let's just play it again. Not in the standard queue, though. That's not gonna work the way we want it to. All 
All right, so it doesn't look like we're on the... Uh... Blood Moon plan here. I will keep this hand, and we're going to get a Steam Vents and go turn one Serum Visions. Unfortunately, it doesn't give us a green source if we end up drawing our our tiny gentlemen, like Birds of Paradise or Noble Hierarch. Gentle ladies? Gentle people? What's going on even? My god. Gentle fops? Is that the is that the term? I kind of just want this arid mesa. I don't think I want this forest. Oh, we drew a temple garden actually. That's pro no, we still need a red source though. Yeah, I'll put this on the top. This is a lot of things happening. I think we're just playing against Storm, but... I just opened MTGO for the first time in months, and it's making me do a tutorial. It won't let me proceed unless I tap out to cast a creature before combat, or play out the last card in my hand, which is a land without any mana sinks. That is not... That's really weird. Well. you figured out why we're playing Magic Online now. Storm butt? You mean butt munch? Dragon fodder. I am fascinated. Uh, we need a blue source, so we're just going to get a... Actually, we can get a stomping ground. What happens if we just go Sahili here? Can we just win next turn? Is that a thing? If they tap out for something stupid, do we just win the game? That's what I want to know. Just want to say thanks for watching YouTube vids for weeks and smash that's nice. Evil Monkey, glad to hear it, buddy. That sounds great. Um, I guess we're going to play this guy. Say yes. Scry. Another bird, huh? What are the odds they have it? They got they only have 3 cards. So, let's see what happens. Well, let's just run it out there, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. Uh, let's copy you. Okay, things are happening. Uh, oh, we win the game. All right, sweet. <laughs> so apparently you can just run it out there on turn four if you got it. Run it if you got it. I want to bring in these negates and take out these paths once again. I think the negate is a better card in the deck. It's, it has proven to be such. I'm going to take out the blood moons as well for some dispels. And maybe a chalice. No, I don't. No. Nah. No. Nah. 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 Let's bring in a lightning helix, I guess. I have no idea. They had we saw only basics, so. Me and my two friends came up with four boxes about twenty five. That's a that's awesome, dude. That's congrats, man. That sounds sick. That is quite the haul. Should I build Shrine Keeper Tribal Deck? I hate Arena. I have no idea what Shrine Keeper Tribal Deck is. What's a Shrine Keeper? Ah. 
Boom, 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 boom. Sometimes when I do the booms, the boom, boom, booms, and everyone, I think people just go like, they're, they just assume it's going to be the, the Two and a Half Men song. What is this? I'm a fan of this egg salad video you just sent. Oh, look, we got the combo again. I'm just going to keep this hand because we can do, we have it all. Sick kills. What's going on, buddy? Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, that. That. It's just... What are they looting? I don't know what's going on here. Okay, discard Emrakul, and then you get your, your looting disappears. All right, well, that's... That's one way to faithless loot, I guess. Are they through the breaching here? We played the land that doesn't let us play Lightning Helix on turn two. I was too I was too concerned with playing Remand instead, so. Oh, a Highland Lake. Okay, so this is just like a budget build. Unfortunately. So I actually have a good feeling about our uh our resolution of Felidar Guard in here. My nose is itching. It's always itching. I don't understand it. Is it like a thing where you reach a certain age, your nose just itches all the time? What are the odds they have counterspell here? A thousand percent? Should we wait until five? Probably. Okay, you got it. I mean, I have another Sahili in hand, so I'm not too concerned with it. Two and a half egg salad sandwiches? Elk Tears, next time I see you, we should make some elk, sa some elk salad sa <laughs> Elk salad sandwiches is what I just said. That's fantastic. Let's make some elk salad sandwiches. I mean, I'm sure you'd be down with that too. Uh, I haven't heard many Drake songs, so I'm going to say no. I have not heard this song. What's Nahiri here? I'm gonna discard Lightning Helix. Guardians for days. Yeah, we could play. We could play Guardian. We could play uh, Guardian, and then next turn Sahili with counter backup. That seems fine. But Nahiri takes so few turns that sometimes you just want to actually ultimate Nahiri. And we can also... I was going to play the Sahili with the counter back up this turn. And we get to keep up... Uh, up, up, up. Uh, we get to keep up Remand. So. Sometimes I try to look for the, cool, the line that does the coolest thing rather than the line that, that wins the game. And that, for as long as I've played Magic, uh, has always been one of my issues. I don't foresee us playing Noble Hierarch, but actually, I guess we could. So we can go, we can actually go crack this uh, for a green source, play Guardian, untap the breeding pool. Maybe we take like four, we take one, two, three, four, five damage. But we have three blockers to protect Nahiri. I'm not sure if we just want... I imagine we just want Counterspell up instead. So one, two, three, four, Guardian. Yeah, I mean, they're going to attack. It's fine. I cannot keep up with these YouTube videos you guys are posting. Oh, this is nice. Are you tapping out for something good? 
Is this going to be creative and indomitable creativity? Because that would be sick. I would be so impressed. You do it for six, you hit these three things. Oh, it is. Unfortunately, nay. That is impressive. Yeah, Arisa, I thought the same thing. I'm like, like, I mean, you could watch, if you want to watch someone make the perfect play every single time, you can watch Reed Duke, but I mean, I don't know. Personally, I'd rather do cool stuff, and uh, I think the payoff is higher for the cool stuff. All right, we'll just do this. Tell me rise, tell me Sahili rise. Tell me rise, tell me, tell me rise. Oh, no, no, you can't dance, guys. This is a Sahili Rai song to the tune of Tell Me Lies. In case you guys didn't know. What's happening right now? Alright, so we're 2 0 right now with this deck. I, uh. Thank you. I'm not sure what's happening. And Helix, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. I guess we're just going to keep playing it until we find a flaw. I think the deck is perfect right now, so... <laughs> this is awkward. You get to one of those situations where you're like, man, I can't change anything yet because I found no glaring holes in the deck. Oh, Reed is wonderful. Um, I think this is keepable just because of these two cards. We can get a breeding pool and uh, we're pretty well set up here, I think. I was like, where's my breeding pool at? What would you bring in Chalice against? I actually don't know. That has been one of the... That has been on my mind the past two matches. Oh, interesting. Oh, that's not a land. That's a... That's a terrible card. Two lands. It is two lands. Uh, put you on the bottom, put you on top. I guess we just play this untapped. It feels really bad going to 12 here, but we do get to keep up remand, so I guess we'll do that. Goblin Guide's going to let us draw a card. Yeah, I mean, this might actually be the perfect matchup for Burn. Just put it on one. Unfortunately, it does shut off a lot of our... Give me that card. A lot of our things, but... What are the odds they ever print, print Shocklands, but that only deal one damage instead, like a Zap Land? Is Zap the card I want? Zap? Yes, a Zap Land. Um, because there's no real reason not to, right? Like, is there ever a point where you feel like two damage is just too much? No. Don't do that. It's a lot of Philidar Guardians. Is this what we want to do? Alternatively, we can play Philidar Guardian Noble Hierarch, and if we draw Sahil, we might just win. It also lets us block. Unfortunately, we don't have a green that comes into play untapped, though. That is a problem. Because then we're just taking two. I mean, the problem is we know they have Searing Blaze in hand. They might not have a land, though. I mean, I like Nahiri Exile this guy. Because it leaves him with no pressure on the board. So they, like... 
What is the wording on Searing Blades? I guess I just don't know. That seems good. Oh, lightning bolt on Nahiri. And a lava spike to my face. Lava spike to my face. It's a lava spike to my face. I guess we just play Guardian. Untap our bird and then play a Hierarch. No, we can't because it's going to have summoning sickness. That's sad. All right. Well, Sahili off the top. Let's let's do it. Let's make it make it happen, Cap'n. I don't think they can win here unless they hit land, Boros Charm, Lightning Bolt, Lava X-esque card. They did not. Hmm. We can keep up our hand here. That's pretty good. Noble. Hierarch. Noble Hierarch. I guess we attack for three. Gotta win somehow. Uh, I don't think MTGA is to get new players. That is not my impression. I'm just going to remand this because you don't have the mana to cast this and something else. But maybe you do. Detention here is not a great draw. Come on, Sahili. Be on the top. The current plan is to ramp in Amrakul. Yeah, we're just waiting. I am waiting. It's a Rolling Stones song. Admittedly, the Rolling Stones did sing it better than I did. Just to be clear. That is not what we're looking for here. So we're basically dead, actually. Like, they, they have Boros Charm. I mean, they're at 11. They basically... I don't know how they win this game. I will probably never crack this. I will, however, play another one of these jobbies. Boros Charm me. Do it. I'm never going to have less mana than right now, so you might as well just do it. Blink you. Blink. I mean, we could actually make a million things right now. Um, and by a million things, I mean... I don't know. We can just we can blink them forever if there's a if we had a soul warden we could blink them forever gain a million life I am yes yes I was gonna have that huge tree fall on you and yeah that would have done it that would have crushed me like a pancake why didn't you do it what's the point she loves you yep. She's my life, Max. Or she was my Rushmore. Doesn't he say she was my Rushmore, Max? She was mine, too. Man, that's one of my favorite movies ever. Romans can come out. Paths can come out. Chalices can come in. Lightning Helixes can come in. Blood Moons can come out. Dispels can come in. I like Negates here. Uh, I can see Cutting Noble Hierarch. And Serum Visions. Actually, Dispel's worse with... Uh, nope, not those. These guys. Dispel gets worse with Chalice on one, unfortunately. Hmm. 
I will keep this hand. Interestingly enough, we're just going to go bird. Uh, I do want a reddish or greenish source to help with bird of paradise. So we will get a reddish or a whitish. Reddish or whitish. Uh, probably white because we have Felidar Guardian. So now we can play this. Next turn we can go bird into chalice. If they kill this, it's sad, but let me just play another bird. Monastery Swift Swifty Boots. I would like a land here. We got one. Okay. Okay. Hmm. I kind of want to just chalice here for two. Can't keep up Dispel for that, though. We can go Bird into Chalice. I think that's actually pretty good. Yeah, we'll just go to 14 here and feel bad about our life choices. Bird. And if they kill the, the Chalice with, like, a Destructive Revelry, which is very possible. Um, well, we didn't see any green, did we? It was just Mono Mountains, right? I guess smash to smithereens. Would a flipped Huntmaster Fells go back to the original side if you ghost away it? Uh, yes. If anything, anytime any transform creature leaves the battlefield, it goes back to its regular side when it comes back. That is its default mode. Oh, Inspiring Vantage. So, Wear Tear, maybe? That would be interesting, because they didn't really see any wear terribles. Yeah, I'll take four here. Yes, even exile flip cards. Those cards are never going to return to the battlefield transformed. As far as I know, no no transform card ever enters the battlefield, never gets exiled and returns still transformed. That is just crazy. Um one, two, three, four, guardian. Blink this guy. Play a stomping ground. And we should be safe. There's nothing they can really play here that would kill us. Oh, no attacks. Okay, good. Excellent. Oh, well, that's a thing, isn't it? Hmm. Blue. White. Nope, we're going to go blue or red. Keep up these two. Let's create a token that's a copy of this guy. Oh, they can kill. They can have, like, Searing Blade. Blood? Searing Blade? Blade Blood? Skull Crack. Target player or Planeswalker. In response, we're going to kill this and gain some life. Well, if 
I copy Nicol Bolas the Ravager, it would say Phantasmal Image's ability to work to trans... No, because it has no back. You would never be able to transform that because there's no card to reference. A bold strategy, Cotton. <laughs> the funny thing is, we still might be dead. They just have to play one burn, one two mana burn spell a turn, for the next three turns. Idle on. Sahili off the top. <laughs> Merkel is not a Sahili. Reluctant to, cl to crack Flood Strand here because going to uh, 8 actually could be different when their win conditions are Boros Charm. This is a situation where I'd probably attack because, I mean, maybe I don't block because I value Felidar Guardian too highly. Huh. One, two, three, four, five. Is this a thing? Do we just win? All right. Wow. Kiki Jiki off the top with triple red from the from the old birdies. That's pretty good. All right. So I'm pretty sure there's no way they don't bring in artifact removal, right? Oh, you don't get why we didn't dispel the instant targeting Sahili instead of Helix and win? Because we have a Chalice on one. I mean, Chalice of the Void when it's on one is is hard to dispel through. Yeah, I was thinking of citing Chalice out because they'll probably bring in their stuff. And we can bring in Dispel, this guy, this guy, and another Remand. Ooh, this hand is sketch. Probably going to get rid of the Semmer Cole. Oh, I see. I'll keep this because Lightning Helix and uh, two relevant Planeswalkers, but... Goblin Guide into a land one time. Dang it. I mean, I guess I'm not sad about that. It's one damage instead of two, so... Sometimes you just have opening hands and you're like, yeah, this isn't going to do it. We're probably dead. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Oh, dang it. Where were you? <laughs> just put Chalice on one and two. They'll never blow it up. What's up, Jake? Good seeing you, buddy. Um, probably just getting steam vents here. It lets us play all of our things. We can actually get planes with this, although it leaves us... I will actually get planes with Iron Mesa. What up, Polsky? If only Gutshot lands existed, I agree. Because then we can get Temple Garden or Breeding Pit or... uh, Yeah, probably just Temple Garden or Breeding Pit. What's going to deal more damage? Probably... Probably this guy, right? Like, this guy's going to deal two, and then every two spells, it's another two, so... It basically adds one damage per spell. If you look at it that way. More so when they have lands in the graveyard. Uh, 
That's interesting. Nope, that's not going to do it. Let's try let's try this and just see if we if we do it. I'm going to put you on the bottom. I don't think we need two of these. Famous last words. Boros Charm. Skullcrack. To the face. Sounds good. Oh, interesting. One at me. Both at me. Okay. Hmm. They have three cards in hand. Felidar Guardian Blink Sahili. Hmm, see what happens. Any redirectable burn spell kills it, but still gotta go for it. It also takes one burn spell away and we still have another Sahili in hand, so. Yep, they're also choosing to waste two two pumps here, and Skullcrack is not going to our face. So that's not nothing. And I guess we'll just untap. I guess it doesn't really matter, right? Yeah, they definitely they don't need they definitely don't need two bolts. They just needed one. So, all right. Well, that's a good sign. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we're just <laughs> if we kept the land on top, we'd be in good shape. Um, we're gonna block here because even if they have two things, like if they aim it at the the guardian, I'm actually I don't hate it. They're probably just gonna aim it at our face. Searing blood that deals two damage to him. Yep, that's pretty bad, but it dies no matter what, so. Yep, that's pretty sad. That was probably the worst thing they could have had, but I think we're... Actually, we would have been fine if we just didn't block, right? One, two, three, four. Where are we at? Ten? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, because we took three, four, five, six, seven. So we would have actually went to four. If they had a Boros Charm, we would have taken one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Or if they had two... Two one damage burn spells. We could have played Nahiri, but being at three is pretty bad. Yeah, Searing Blood is... Yep, all right. I mean, pretty close, all things considered. We also had an Emrakul in our hand, which does nothing, so... I, I don't think I like... I don't know if I like Chalice on the board, just because you have all of these one-drops, and you also bring in Dispel. I just don't think Chalice is great. I like Stony Silence a lot. Um, I would actually rather have more Negates, and I'd almost rather have Negates in the main deck... Like, one Negate in the main deck over a Remand. Just being able to hard counter things is very, very valuable. Um, so one, two, three, four, five. I think Leyline is probably great for the sideboard. Add four to the sideboard. I think that's that's a pretty good include. All right, let's try. I think that's a yeah. I like those changes a lot. Oh, this is the same person. I don't want to play the same burn deck though. Alright, 
Let's four color. You know, opening two planeswalkers and sealed. Is, what's that period there? You know, opening two planeswalkers and sealed is pretty sweet. That's like the William Shatner of. This hand's rough. I like the negate though. We did it. This hand doesn't do anything. It lets us play early things, which is nice, but it doesn't do anything other than that. Why can't we just get a reprint of the OG dual lands? OG duels and every what are the OG duels? You mean like Underground Sea and Bayou? <laughs> I mean, I think we know why. Uh, that's more important to me than Serum Visions. Oh, they got a black and a blood crypt, and this guy is alive still. That's pretty okay. Ooh, blood moon is interesting. I will definitely keep the Nahiri. I'll put the bird on the bottom. Put the bird on the bottom. I'm just going to pass here. We'll make it seem like we have a counter spell. I don't think the one damage is going to matter. Watch it. Watch the one damage matter. And then they're going to kill us anyway, and we're going to be like, oh, we should have just attacked. All right. So they're just living end, I guess. This keeps them off a violent outburst, leaving them only to have demonic dread. So that's good. But I don't think that's going to be enough. I always feel like I never have the answer. This deck always feels like it's just going to kill me. Oh, now, now, they, now they have it again. Well, I just drew a natural forest, dude. Yep, alright. Seems good. <laughs> Well, nothing we can do about that. Good times. All right. Well, next game it is. That was a fun match. I had a good time. Okay. So, where am I? Gra where's no graveyard hate whatsoever? That's unfortunate. All right, so we're gonna is dispel no because it's a sorcery, isn't it? Is it living end? It is a sorcery. All right, so path I don't care about negate we want. I think it's just negates. Oh, that's rough. Lightning helix I don't care about. Tonight's silence I don't care about. Ley line I don't care about. Yeah, four of them are instant, but it doesn't matter if you counter the. I mean, I guess you could counter the Violent Outburst, but, like, seems bad. I don't know. Take out the Blood Moons. I guess it's better than nothing. I really, I want to counter the Living End. I don't want to counter the... Whatever. Whatever, guys. Whatever. I will keep this hand. Also, being able to remand the Living End is pretty great, so...
That's what I thought, actually. I was like, wait, that's that's not correct, right? It doesn't matter if you counter the Violent Outburst because the Cascade goes on the stack when you cast it, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. I was like, wait, Cascade... If the spell doesn't resolve, then the Cascade doesn't resolve. And I'm like, no, that's not how that works. I have no idea why I... Like, that's what I thought, and I was like, it doesn't matter. That's why I said it doesn't matter if you counter the Violent Outburst. And then I was like, wait, am I getting Cascade wrong? Am I getting Cascade and Storm confused? I'm not. This spell is terrible. Yeah, all right. This is what I get for second-guessing myself. Hmm. Well, I don't think they're going to do anything here. It's weird to me that Cascade still goes off when you... Okay, well, we're having a good time. Well, now I'm just keeping Romand up, because they I, I could see them being very uh, inclined to just... to just go off here instead. Uh, just take this guy out. Get a... We'll get a Sacred Foundry. All right, so one, two, three, four. We can play Nahiri here. And then if they have it next turn, it's super rough because they, even if they get two guys back, Nahiri doesn't do much. I feel like we just keep up negate. And by negate, I mean remand. I always yield to that. Yep. <sighs> yep. All right, so I guess we get to keep up Nahiri and Remand, which is pretty cool. So, nice to not be dead. Blue, red, one, two. So even if they kill these guys, we still get to keep our mana up, which is nice. I will choose to discard this Windswept Heath because I don't foresee us needing... Actually, we could have discarded Restoration Angel. Just to get a Restoration Angel back if they do the thing, but... Beast within targeting this. Sure. God, this deck is not fun. Yep. Cool. Literal no answers for this. Absolutely nothing we can do here. Six, seventy nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifty, seven, eight, nineteen, twenty. Yeah. And like even if we got a red source with this, like we just we die. But like we could block here, take four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And even if we got a red source, like we still wouldn't have mana for like Kiki Jiki to be a top deck. And we know they have Beast within in hand, so 
Yeah, cool. All right, so I think I got one disp. We're gonna we're gonna put in rest in peace because there's no reason we don't have any graveyard, uh, graveyard love here. Really, rest in. So we're gonna go three here. Um, I'm gonna put another negate in the main deck. I don't like remand that much. I'd rather just counter their things flat out, especially if we have uh, ways to do that. I'm going to add another remand here. I'm going to take out the two dispels. I think that's probably good. I don't even know if I like the path in the main deck. Like, it just... I, I feel like you don't want to care about their creatures. Like, you just want to do your own thing. Maybe dispel in the main deck is actually just better. I feel like it is. Why do these matches take... What's my favorite book? That's a good question. I actually don't know. You know, honestly, my, book, my favorite book is probably Catcher in the Rye. Because I'm like... Clearly an old school hipster. I don't know. I'll keep this hand. This is pretty nice. So Riddick is all about getting rid of the, um, or doing the combo as fast as we can. I don't really feel like you need path. My only concern is if they play, like, Meddling Mage and name, like, one of your things, like, say, like uh, Sahili or something, and you're like, oh, well, that's sad. this guy. Oof. Hit that Emrakul. Emrakul one time. Emrakul, bra. They didn't. They didn't hit the Emrakul. That's messed up. I thought we were friends. I thought we were friends. I thought we were friends. Even though this is a swamp, I'm still gonna crack it to get a non-swamp land. Ideally, a Steam Event Arenas, or I can just get an island here. Hmm. Get a plains with the other one, and then we got uh, living that Blood Moon life. Yeah, let's go get an island. Hmm, how noble. One. Let's do a little float. Seventeen, they're basically dead.
How can we have a rent fund and not a Hungry Howie's fund? Um, I don't need help with Hungry Howie's. That is not part of my uh, my my income, my 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 survival. If you guys want to donate and be like, this is for Hungry Howie's, uh, you are more than welcome to, and I will gladly accept your dinner donations. Why does this why does this dragon deck only have one cavern of souls? You have so many dragons that it's like you have ten dragons. Why wouldn't you just have at least two? At least two. Yep, that's interesting. You want me to sacrifice one? This player discards. Oh, so long, Emrakul. Let's get planes. All right, so we're just ha 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 ha. One, two, three. Yeah, I don't want to discard this Felidar Guardian, so we're gonna discard the breeding pool. Any sort of dinner funds, Taco Tuesday fund, public sub fund, Hungry Howie's fund, whatever you guys want to do. If you guys designate it for my dinner, I will, I will, I will use it for dinner. Because uh, that's how streaming full time as a content creator works. You guys get to support me and uh, make sure I eat. Mountain, mountain, mountain. Seven fifty seems high. Oh man, oh man. I also split this with two other people, so man, seven fifty. Seven fifty. Where are you, Tega? Where, Tega, where are you? Where are you from? Because if seven fifty sounds high, that I need to go where you are. Oh, they have a basic swamp. How oh, fascinating. Fascinating. Oh, ensnaring bridge? Okay. I get it. One, two, three. What happened? One Eat Hungry Howie's on stream buck. Okay, well, see, we're not doing that. Because that requires me to order the, the food. Uh, <laughs> to order the food. Have it delivered. Go get the door while I'm on stream. Eat the food on stream. And then I lose a bunch of viewers because no one wants to see me eat on stream. Ah, Infernal Tutor. Hellbent, no less. I don't even think 750 will get you the towel cabinet. I'll be honest with you. Oh, I see. We're just playing against this stupid deck. Okay. Well, that's cool. Oh, we can't attack. Uh, I guess we can attack with this guy. Joke's on you. Yep, Liliana's pretty good here. One of the main things that got to be... Got Got be got me addicted to your stream. Was watching you and Mike eat hungry how he's on stream. I don't know if that's true. I don't. Th I don't think that's an accurate statement. Yeah, 
yeah, we're just gonna go to the next game. I can't. I there's this is Liliana plus Shrieking Afflictions, a pretty miserable lock. All right, so these come in. The spells can come out because they don't really do much. Remand can come out. I'd rather have negates. I don't even like Blood Moon that much in this matchup. Um, I don't hate Lightning Helix just because it does hit Liliana. Stony Silence. We don't have any artifacts. Actually, Remand is probably just fine. Another Eat Hungry Howie's on stream book. We've already covered like half the cost of... Oh, wow. $4 pizza. Uh, I don't think you guys know how delivery works, but that's fine, I guess. Uh, I don't want to bring in Rest in Peace just for Raven's Crime. That seems pretty loose. It's a pretty dead card in most situations otherwise. I haven't sweetened my mortgage interest and... What's EXP? Uh, is 800. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Also, mortgages are uh, traditionally lower than than renting. Like, I had an ex who actually bought a house in this area. And our rent at the time was 900 And she actually bought a larger house. And her, uh, her mortgage was like 650 So... So my rent is fourteen hundred, and then we have uh, utilities on top of that. So, internet, water, and electric, and then uh, you know random utilities like pest control and uh, lawn maintenance and things like that. Then again, we pay nine for a glass of beer. I guess in the end, it adds up. Yeah, but also you have. Uh, Universal healthcare and uh, public education. So, five eat the damn pizza box. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god. You guys keep this up. I'm just going to get hungry howies tonight. I wasn't planning on it, but the support is real. So, I'm not going to say I'm going to eat it on stream because that's still weird for me. Your rent is $1,400. Uh, it's. I, I think if I had $1,400 rent, I would still. If I could get $1,400 rent in Seattle, I would be back in Seattle. Why do you guys want to see me eat? Explain to me why you want to see me eat Hungry Howie's on stream. Because this is very strange. Oh, yeah, let's do this. I'll keep this. This light, double ley line against the rack deck seems pretty good. Thank you. Okay, on a stream, I might have been exaggerating a bit, but I think you should eat Hungry Howie's on stream. What is... <laughs> I like the idea of letting you guys into my life. I don't have a problem with that at all. In fact, that's what I tried to do on like podcasts and things because I like uh, I like that kind of connection. Um, Seville Pippin, thanks so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Hungry Howie's resub, I accept. Uh, is this the pizza eating stream? Who got magic cards in our stream? I think I'd rather eat pizza and watch you stream. Yeah, that's fair. And this is what I'm saying. This is running on biddies food review. <laughs> Oh, gas. I could rent a whole house here in upstate New York for like 30. Yeah, but you being... Yeah, this is this is a whole house. I live in a house. And it's 1400 And I don't have to be in upstate New York. Ha <laughs> ha, got him. I mean, the area is great. Like, I'm 10 minutes from multiple beaches, so... This seems good against the um, the rack deck. Let's get a breeding pool. How much does chat have to donate to make this Hungry Harry's happen now? Oh my god. Oh, you get a whole house for 1400 Yeah, that's... Yeah, I have a house with two roommates. Which you guys have... You've met one of them and you've, uh, you've heard the other on the stream, so... Hmm... 1600 for a two bed, one bath. That's, yeah, this is three bed, two bath for 14. So you could see the, the cost difference there. The cost differential. Um, we're just going to go play this untapped. Play another bird. Duh, 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 and keep up. 
Can you can you tap for green, please? There we go. Keep up. Nagate. All right. Six eighty for a two bed two bath. That seems bonkers. I would do that all day. Alistair Kane, where are you? Can I do this from Italy? Can I move to Italy and uh, stream regularly? Can I keep my stream? Like my, my, cause I, right now I literally just do streaming Patreon and uh, YouTube stuff. And that's my, that's my income. And uh, can I still do, can I move to Italy and still do that is my question. Cause that's, that would be the dream for me, right? Would that be cheaper or more expensive for me? Can someone, do we have any, do we have any, uh, any experts, any currency experts? You're not pretentious enough to. I don't. I think. Wow, that's a that's a slight against the Italian people. That is, that is not fair at all. I did see the town in Italy paying people to live there, and I was like, that's pretty all right. I want to play this Nahiri, but I also don't want to just get it wrecked by. Uh, I guess it's better to do it now. I'm not going to discard anything though. I'm just going to keep my good hand. What if I don't want a freelance visa? What if I just want to become an Italian citizen? Can I do that? Ensnaring bridge. Oh, snap. Oh, all right. Well, there's a town in the quiet village. Oh, all right. Well, it's good. It's good. I'm just going to play that now. And another Nahiri. We can play land and Felidar Guardian. I think we're just going to put... We're going to bottom both of these because I just don't care about them. Play you. And we'll keep up Nagate. One move to Italy. You're... <laughs> oh, that's gas. Oh, Scorched Earth, where are you? People say you can get a four-bedroom, four to five-bedroom house here for six, 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 six fifty. I don't know where that is, though. If you make it the hand, just, hey, I want to rent it this time. Yeah, if I do that, I'm probably not welcome in Italy. I'll be honest with you guys. Uh, I won't eat pizza on stream, but I moved to Italy. But if I move to Italy, okay, so if I move to Italy, you have my word. I will eat pizza on stream. I will eat Italian pizza on stream. So incentive for you guys if I if it happens. You can do Juris Sanguinis if you have an Italian-born relative who never renounced his citizenship. Otherwise, generally, there is a residency requirement, meaning you have to legally live in the country for... Yeah, that's pretty That's pretty typical. Um, I don't like this. Choose an opponent. Oh, I think I'm going to choose... Oh, it's, it's choose. It's not target. So, yeah, we'll get rid of this. <sighs> that's sad. If they want to go into here, it's totally fine because they have a snaring bridge. So I'm not really concerned with that. <laughs> Tapped artifact. If only we had a way to tap one of. If only we. Had, if only we had a way to tap this ensnaring bridge. I will discard this scalding tarn. For another ley line. All right. Well, we're just going to play these guys. Blink this guy. We could have blinked the Nahiri, actually. That would have been nice. And then we could activate again. I didn't think about it. I just want to keep up blockers. But that was overly cautious because I don't think we're ever going to need three blockers against their Muta Vault. And it, what are we even blocking against? So 
So instead of us funding Howie's, you now want us funding your... Uh, I don't want you funding it. But I don't not want you funding it either, so... You can rent my place for slightly more than me, then I'll get a slightly bigger place to rent to someone for slightly more, then you can move into that place for slightly more, and rent the first place for slightly more, and so on, and so on. Hodge Gulashi, this is actually a solid strategy. Uh, I think this is what's known as a pyramid scheme, but um, I'm still game. Let's do it. Let's get on that pyramid scheme level. Oh, the few million dollars lying around strategy. That's a good one, actually. I, I didn't think about that. I'm probably going to I'm probably going to go that route, I think. Um I had not considered taking from my uh multiple trust funds and investing in Italy. So when I saw that I saw that article about like they'll pay you money to to move to this to this country in Italy, the city. And um my first thought was like if this city is is so badly needing citizens right like if it's having such a hard time attracting people like would there be sufficient internet to stream or to you know to to upload videos and stuff like that like that was my biggest concern because i'm pretty sure i could just live anywhere as long as they have uh internet i know someone with a few million dollars lying around but they won't give it to me man the nerve of these people Oh, that's sad. There's a Felidar Guardian. They keep attacking this Nahiri, but... I mean, this ensnaring bridge is preventing any Emrakul shenanigans, so... I'm just going to start keeping cards in hand. I bet they have a handful of just, like, targeted discard spells. Yeah, I don't think fixing up the property of the house that I live in is such a bad deal. Like, that sounds like fun, actually. We have great internet or great health care. I guess meatballs or whatever, <laughs> Also, the eye key is as far as the eye can see, I imagine. Maybe I'll just move to Sweden. Jochen would love that. I can hang out with Joel Larson all day. Yo Larson, as it were. Oh, I forgot about the Kiki Jiki. You guys are correct. That is a misplay. I forgot about the Kiki Jiki. The only reason I didn't do that was I literally forgot Kiki Jiki was in the deck. Otherwise, that's a great idea. So I'm okay with that. Oh, I found it. Yes. Discard you. One, two, three, four, five... The Swedes are way too social. Wow. Wow. Well, I think Joachim has stepped away from magic. Uh, he's, he's, he's definitely uh, slowed down on his magic playing. It is actually Kajiki Jiki. That's correct. That is his official name. That is correct. Old Kajiki Jiki. Oh, they, they did old target player. So I imagine they're targeting themselves. That's cool. I think we're getting to a point where they just like force themselves to... I think they're just saving their ensnaring bridge. Yep, all right. Seems good. This is where they play Liliana. We both discard. I'll get a Liliana of the Veil. I feel like we could have won this game. I feel like we've also seen a lot of cards, but nothing really good that we really want to see. We also don't have any way to deal with a card like Ensnaring Bridge. I almost like... What What did they... Oh, they don't... We don't have to see it. Oh, Liliana the Last Hope. That's interesting. 
I'm just gonna kill my birds one by one. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, actually, hmm. No, we don't have a way to put a card in their hand, I don't think. Let's get a red source. <laughs> so we can get Felidar Guardian. What does that do? Nothing? We can make a million mana, right? We can Kiki's, you can make a million birds. The problem is anything they draw, they can either target themselves with or target us with. I guess we can just see what we hit here. Can we discard excellent enchantment? Nothing. A tapped artifact, nothing, or a tapped creature. All right, so those are not relevant. We have no secret tech to tap their ensnaring bridge, unfortunately. Let me just make sure there's no cards. Restoration Angel, does that do it? No, because we still don't have a way to... We have a Detention Sphere in the deck. Which, believe it or not, is not a creature. I kind of just want to hit... All our matches are still up. This is pretty hilarious. All right, so we're actually just going to keep discarding. Well, that's a thing, I guess. So now Noble Hierarch dies, but we do get to buy ourselves a turn here. I'm just gonna play this. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Oh, we actually can't make a million mana. I don't know what I was thinking. I think I was thinking that like Kiki Jiki, no matter what it copies, makes a million mana. Or makes it can make a million copies of whatever it copies. That's just not how that card works. Yeah, so top deck Liliana here would be other Liliana would be rough because then we lose our Kiki Jiki, but I mean I think that's the only thing that can really target us. Raven's Crime doesn't hit us, Wrench Mind, Inquisition, Thought Seize don't hit us. Yeah, I like Kiki Jiki copying the hierarchy actually. It's not terrible, but They could also give us a window here. Well, dang. Why'd that take so long to, to play that? <laughs> I don't really understand. I guess we have Nihiri, so we can exile it, but... Um, one, two, three, four, five, Kikums, McJikums, Noble Hierarch. Wait, oh, it can't attack, oh! <sighs> that's annoying. Yep, that's frustrating. I was like, oh, I'll just attack with Kiki Jiki. And then I realized the reason we were going to attack with Noble Hierarch is because of the Liliana. So, that's good. Yeah, that's frustrating. Can't we kill them with Sahili? I don't know how we would... I mean, I mean... Yeah, we were going to we were gonna copy Hierarch, and then I actually figured copying the Kiki Jiki, or just attacking with Kiki Jiki for three would be better. Yep, that's annoying. Sacrifice a land. Red, red, white, white, blue, blue. Yeah, that's fine. The token has haste. That is correct. I, yeah, no, I'm aware of it. I'm aware of what happened. 
I just figured we could deal more damage with Kiki Jiki, and I actually just forgot about. Um, yeah, it makes token sack token. Yeah, I'm just I'm actually misplaying left and right here. I'm just trying to figure out how we can win this game, and I'm by doing so by by putting my mind in a place where I'm trying to figure out how we win this game. I'm not taking into I'm not actually making the best plays here, so. Um, so I have no cards. Can't attack. Uh, I'm not too worried about playing around the enchantments because we have Nahiri, so we can just kill their enchantments. Artifact or creature you control. That does nothing. I, mean, I guess we could just... Yeah, they still dome us, right, sure. But, I mean, like, they have to draw multiples in a row. Um, bottom... All right, we're just going to pass here. <laughs> yeah, we can just D-Sphere, but we do have to hit the one D-Sphere in the deck. I feel like we've looked through a lot of cards. Yep. Wait. Oh, that's interesting, because now Kiki Jiki can attack. I don't think that does anything, though. Wait, are they... Interesting. So they have to just have a removal spell, right? So fell at our guardian. Blink. Kiki Jiki, I guess. Make a copy. Oh, we should have used the Sahili there. Ah, oh, that was rough, because this is an instant speed one. I don't understand what's happening now. What? Did they just give us the game because they didn't play the card in their hand? What was the card? That's weird. Alright. I mean, I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> uh... Yeah, I wish we had... Anything that has to target us, though, I'm pretty sure can target them, right? Like, Inquisition, they can hit themselves. Thoughtseize, they can hit themselves. Raven's Crime, they can hit themselves. Uh, Wrench Mine, they can hit themselves. I have no idea. I would have made you click through it. Well, congrats. That's good for you. <laughs> That's... What a weird thing to say. <laughs> can you take pride in that? I would have made you... Do all the I would have made you click three hundred times and do all the iterations. All right, well, good good for you. <laughs> Congrats. Yeah, I can't think of anything that says target opponent in the rack deck. Yes, like shrieking affliction and um, and the rack are obviously castable. Any of the planeswalkers are castable. Uh, could have been a push, but. 
they could have activated their mute vault and killed their own mute vault especially in response to the combo so i don't think that's the case Plus, you can also target Kiki-Jiki with it just because you don't have a target. Um, or just because it's not going to, like, do the damage doesn't mean you can't target Kiki-Jiki with it. You know what I mean? It would still... It just wouldn't die. If it was a second Liliana, I would have just played it and then kept the first, you know? Okay, so they do a Fatal Push. Good to know. Shrieking Afflictions. All right, so we're just going to keep a million cards in our hand is really what's going to happen here. I guess we don't have to keep a million cards. And we're not playing Blood Moon anymore, so we don't want a white source here. We have double blue. It's probably just the Sacred Foundry. Uh, no. Sahili's pretty good. Serum Missions here. We want to hit a land. Oh, we did. We can bottom these two, I think. I assume our odds of hitting a land are going to be pretty good. Look at that handsome boy with his hair. I, I haven't got, got a haircut for like two weeks now, three weeks now. So I don't know whose haircut you're talking about, buddy. Um, I'm just going to wait till next turn and then we can play Sahili with uh, Negate Backup and then we can play Felidar Guardian with Negate Backup, presuming we hit all the lands we need. But you don't have to reset her if you hit a second Lily. You just play the second Lily and then keep the first one. You keep the original. Like you never have to you never have to sacrifice the other Lily. Do I care about this? So she goes to four. Next turn she goes to five, then she goes to six, then she goes to seven. I don't think I care about this. I don't think they've changed the legend rule for like years. All right, what are we getting here? Um, blue, white, and red are our. We'll just get this guy because because of the blue, white, and red uh, abundance abundance of blue, white, and red. You can play this guy. Not gonna have enough, so we're just gonna play this, and then go red, blue. This one, Sahili Rye, which is my favorite kind of bread. Sahili Rye and Descried. Did they change it in Ixalan? Maybe it was a Duress. Duress does say target opponent. Maybe. <laughs> All right. So if. The only thing that could stop this combo is Hero's Downfall, and we have enough mana to counter a Hero's Downfall. So I'm pretty sure we just win this match. How how presumptuous, but, you know, I feel comfortable with that. Uh-oh, here we go. Yeah, nope, don't do that. And you're tapped out, so I'm feeling good about this. Kitty cats coming down, blinking that Sahili rye. My favorite kind of bread. This is a bread song. Um. Oh, and we won that game. Yeah, I think I like this configuration better. I think the spells are better in the main deck. I think the uh, rest in peace and, and, and ley line has been a, a, an obviously great. Uh, addition to the sideboard, especially because we don't have that many things against the burn deck. Um, yeah, I, Jake, I actually think this this deck was pretty solid. I um, 
I do think we want something to deal with something like Ensnaring Bridge. We want some sort of artifact or enchantment removal, either in the sideboard or in the main deck, uh, that you can actually search out with Nahiri if you really, really have to. Um, I think Reclamation Sage is a super solid choice. I like Stony Silence a lot against the decks it's good against. Uh, I think we can take out one Lightning Helix and just put like Reclamation Sage or Acidic Slime or something. I think Rex Sage is probably the best. It just comes down pretty early. It gets rid of problematic things. And uh, you can blink it with Felidar Guardian or Restoration Angel, which is super nice. Um, I can also see replacing Detention Sphere with it. Honestly, I don't even know if I like the Blood Moons in the deck, but you did have... This was a Blood Moon deck, so if we leave them, we leave them. Otherwise, I would just add, like, a couple Rex Sages and a couple more Counter Spells in the main deck, and I think this deck is actually pretty pretty good. You have both the Nahiri combo and the Sihili Felidar Guardian combo, which, as you can see from our matches, I think we had 3-1, uh, is still pretty solid. It's still a pretty pretty good force to be reckoned with. Reckoned with. And I'm going to take this out and put this good, this good elf, this good, good full art elf in the sideboard instead but yeah i i like this list i think it i think it did well and uh hope you guys enjoyed it um i have no real complaints i think all the complaints we shored up like the the ley lines were were definitely needed and i think if we had them against burn i think it would have been a little little better of a game um i think chalice is a little narrow chalice is rough because you never want to like you have so many one drops in this deck you have 14 one drops and at the time, we were boarding in three more Dispels over the two paths. So we actually had like 17 one-drops. And it's really hard to play a Chalice on one with that many one-drops. Because you're just, you're forcing yourself to draw a lot of dead cards. And I think Leyline fulfills the same role against like the, the Storm decks and the uh, the Burn decks. Whereas you can even cast Leyline if you have to, which is nice. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. really appreciate it. hope you guys enjoyed the content. If you have, check out my Twitch profile and my Patreon feed. There, the links for those are in the description below, and uh, those are great ways to support the channel and uh, and me, I guess, if you guys want to do that. And uh, you can also have your own deck critiqued if you're interested in that. I would love to take a look. You guys have, have shown me some pretty sweet decks, so uh, any opportunity to do that is awesome. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons, too.